We all know that these are yearlings. They are good some days and they're bad some days and sometimes you gotta take your time. And our most expensive horse, prime time, um, although I've trained her in 251 and she's looked really good, she does get a little hikey, she does interfere right hind, and I think ever since we put the corks on her, she hasn't been as good. Um, Talent-wise, you can tell she's she's lovely. She's a beautiful filly. She's got lots and lots of speed under the belt. And she's more than happy to do it. Always has a real worker's attitude. She's a workhorse. But um, we're gonna have to keep her wrapped up for a little while. I've been making some shoeing changes on her, trying to get her away. But uh, we've had her fluoroscope. You know, a lot of these horses we've had fluoroscope. We fluoroscope prime time, completely clean bill of health. Uh, you know, a little couple little things here and there, but nothing that would. Be, raise any red flags or alarms and um, she um, she is a little hikey so I said to the lady that the girl that takes care of her I said you know <clears throat> she's gonna train again when she's ready to train again and that's that I'm not gonna rush her I'm not gonna hurt her um, there's a lot of money on the line with this filly we have about 32 percent of her sold but um, I owe it to the horse to make sure it's done right both Amy and I do I owe it to the majority owner at about to make sure it gets done right. And I owe it certainly owe it to the 32% of her that sold to do it right. So although I would love to come on here and tell you that Prime Time's uh, doing awesome and, and training better than anybody, she's not. She's making a few breaks, making a few mistakes. She's a yearling and she's gonna make a few more. Our job is to get her there in a proper manner. It isn't the fastest one to get the qualifiers the one that does it right on, on a consistent basis and um, the one thing that we try to do at the stable yes we work our horses yes they are battle ready when they get to the track but no I'm not going to break them down to get them there and for me if it is the cork or it is maturity or whatever it is we'll get to the bottom of it but it's not going to deter us and it's not going to um, I'm not going to put this filly in harm's way so um, prime time's going to continue to jog jog and train very slow miles until she's ready to go faster and as a trainer that's our job at the stable and we're going to allow her to do her job so keep an eye on prime time she's not going anywhere and I know she's going to bust out but she's going to do it on her time frame not mine.